Hello, my friends. Holly Hireman here. And, um, you know, I am, I just got ready for the gym and I'm heading out in just a few moments. I'm actually, um, I'm fortunate enough to work at a gym that's also a spa, a total woman gym and day spa. I love it there. And one of the benefits, of course, is massages. But I was just thinking about this because, um, honestly, I was just putting my, my baby down for a nap and, you know, Gosh, I cry so many times per day. Um, and this was one of those moments where he was having a particularly harder time going down. And so I was crying and and all I was thinking about was like, okay, just just make it, make it to that workout, make it to that massage. And it made me think about, you know, so many people struggle with postpartum. And um it is I with with my I was kind of ready for it this time because this is my second rodeo, per se. Um, so I was kind of ready for it. So I've been a little bit more prepared this time around. Um, but I wanted to share with you the five ways that I fight postpartum because with my first son, he's three now. Um, but it, it kind of hit me really hard. Um, but it hit me really hard and I was shocked because I'm not, I'm not an emotional person. So, um, I didn't really know what to do with those feelings. Like even monthly, I, I don't typically go through an emotional roller coaster. So, um, after having my son and going through postpartum, I, I didn't know what to do with those feelings. And I kind of, I freaked out a lot and I, um, I wasn't really super fun to be around. So anyways, this time going into it, I was a little bit more prepared, but what I wanted to share with you today are the five ways that I, um, help to fight it, um, help to go against, you know, postpartum and, and how I'm kind of keeping things at bay right now. Um, and the first thing I kind of alluded to it already was, is to pamper yourself, um, you know, like I said, I booked a massage. I just was feeling super stressed yesterday. I said to my husband, I think I need to get out of the house. So, you know, any way that you can pamper yourself, the better. Um, massages, getting your nails done, going out for a drink with a friend, you know, grabbing a cup of coffee. I love lattes and I know they're not the best for you, but you know what? I have to do what's going to keep me sane. And sometimes that's just a matter of I'm looking forward to going and grabbing a latte after my class or something like that. So cheers for that. Um, the second thing, so number one is pamper yourself. The second thing is sleep. And I used to feel so weird about going to bed before nine. I was just like, even even though I knew I wasn't going to be sleeping like at all throughout the night, <laughs> because when you have a new baby, you don't sleep a lot. And even when you have sick kids, you don't sleep a lot. And, but now I don't even care if it's eight o'clock and I'm tired and both the kids are asleep. It's like, I get my butt in that bed as quickly as possible. And, um, many nights I, you know, I only have to get up a couple of times, but I still find that I really need, I need that extra sleep. So that's my second tip is to sleep as much as you possibly can. I'm not a napper. So for me, that's getting in bed sometimes eight, eight thirty, nine o'clock, but usually it's like nine o'clock. I'm turning into a pumpkin if I don't get my butt in bed. So that's number two. The second, the third thing, the third tip that I have for you is a healthy diet and having, making sure that you're on a really good multivitamin. That was one thing that I found, um, with my first, uh, was that I, once I started making sure I was really regimented about, you know, drinking my, my meal replacement shake, which is loaded with lots of vitamins, but also making sure that I took, you know, extra calcium, extra the vitamin, um, or sorry, uh, B complex, um, but just trying to make sure that your, your body is getting what you need. It's going to help you feel a little bit more sane. Um, and then of course eating right also, I mean, if you're, of course you're going to crave chocolate, you're going to crave things that aren't good for you when you're tired, but the better you can eat, the better you're going to feel overall. Um, so that's, that's my third recommendation for you. My fourth of course is, um, prayer. <laughs> I pray. And when I'm having a hard time with my boys, um, I just launch into worship, worship songs usually, and I'll just sit there and I'll sing to them. And it, it's like nine out of 10 times, man, that is, you know, not only does it calm me down because I'm feeling frustrated or angry or, you know, gosh, you can see how emotional I am right now. It's, it's, it's emotional. It's very emotional when you're trying to comfort a child and you don't know what's happening. So just pray, 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 pray. Um, even if you don't believe in it, give it a shot. I, who knows what may come out of it, right? Um, not all prayers are always answered in the way that we think they should be, but they're always heard. And I always feel better, um, once I pray. And then the fifth tip that I have for you, of course, is to, um, work out. 
is to work out, is to get some exercise, which I mentioned before, I'm on my way to the gym and I was just thinking about, you know, all the things that I have to look forward today. What's getting me through the next, the next moment, the next hard moment and the things that were helping me through were these things. So I wanted to come to you and share those with you today. And I want to say that I love you all and any women that are out there that are going through the same thing, or maybe you know somebody who recently had a baby, um, people don't talk about it. They don't talk about all the crazy emotions that you go through um, after having a baby and how, um, how challenging it is mentally, emotionally. And, um, so I just wanted to give you my five tips in summary. Number one, pamper yourself as much as you possibly can, as often as you can taking baths. That's a great way too. I know that finances can be low. Um, so maybe heading out for a massage or getting your nails done or something isn't an option, but taking a nice hot bath, Epsom salts, getting into bed earlier. That's number two. Number three would be, um, to create, Eat as healthy of a diet as you possibly can, making sure they're getting all the right vitamins. Number four is pray. And then the fifth one is to work out. So thank you guys all. I love you all. Have a beautiful Sunday. God bless.